Hello! So today I'm doing another Currently Inked. I have changed out a couple of pens since last time I did this in October, I think. So I just wanted to give you guys an update of the colors that I'm using now. So I have a couple of pens here and then I have a couple more in here. Uh, I went through all my pens and I, because I never know how many I have inked, so I went through and I made sure that I put little washi stickers on the ones that don't have any ink just so that I don't forget. So all the ones that don't have ink are uh, have these little stickers on them so that's much easier to know <laughs> which ones I'm supposed to use because I kind of store them all in different containers. So let's just pop this out. Okay so let's get started. Let's do the platinums first. So this first platinum that I have inked is the Platinum Meteor. And this is in a fine, this is sage green. And the ink I have in this is Raw and Klingner Sketch Ink. And it is Emma. Oops. Okay. The next one that we have, and actually, you know, I've been using this a lot for journaling because it doesn't write too wet and it keeps a fairly fine line in my Kimbor. So I've been really liking writing with this, really consistent, never dries out. I love these platinum slip and seal lids in here. So cheap little pen, runs you about, I don't know, eight to ten bucks on AliExpress. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of those. So that's our first one. And the second one is another meteor. And I'll just write this out and then I'll tell you. This is actually inked with a barn uh, Rue Donc. How do you spell that? I think it's I think that's how you spell it. <laughs> and sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I only speak Australian English with a little bit of an American accent, so I apologize if I pronounce any of these wrong. Uh, but this is also a really good journaling color. You wouldn't think so. It looks really light, but it's actually really quite lovely in a lot of text. Um, I did have an issue. I have had this inked for quite a while with Louis Donc, and it, it when I first re-inked it, it was really inconsistent. It was writing super light, but I think it was just because it wasn't through the feed or something that I, I wrote it dry with this ink and then I refilled it and it wasn't writing the same and I was so upset, but um, it has gotten better and better. So I think maybe this one might be just a bit of a finicky nib or maybe this ink is a little dry. Maybe that's what's happening because the platinums tend to write a little bit dry in my opinion. So um, unless it's a really wet ink and then obviously like the dye mine inks work really well in this, but I have a feeling maybe this Urban ink is a little dry, but beautiful, beautiful color. The next one we have is in my Preppy Wa. So this is the yellow, the first edition of the Preppy Wa's. This also has a Rohan Klingner ink in it. And this one is riding really quite wet at the moment. I'm sorry, I didn't research what the name of this is. It's not just called yellow, it's a Japanese name. But off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll put it in the description. And this one is... Rohenklingner. And that's Carmen. This is also a sketching. And this is a gorgeous orange leaning yellow. Um, writes really well in this preppy. Love, love, love. And the next one we have is the Caveco Sport in Soft Mandarin. And so I inked this one up recently in Diamine Green Umber. And it might seem like kind of a. <laughs> interesting um, combo but 
I just really loved this ink and I thought like a mandarin with the green leaves and stuff I thought they kind of go well together and uh, this is a super wet ink um, as you can see so this is only a medium so this is Kaleco Sport Soft Mandarin in a M and this is Diamine Green Umber Oh, I haven't been doing my little uh, marks. Let me just do one here so you can see how wet it is. Oh, and I smudged the text above, so that is how wet it is. It takes a long time to dry, but it is a beautiful color, and I just, I really love this color of this pen. It's just, I don't know, I know it's plastic, and I know they're kind of cheap and stuff, but I really want to collect them all. I just, I love how they feel. I like how they're lightweight. I like the grip section. It's comfortable. Um, yeah, I just really love Kavecos. Let me go back and do all the dry tests for these guys. I don't want to use the same finger. So that one writes wetter than these guys, I think, but still not laying down as much as that green number. Super dry. Super dry, almost dry the minute it hits the page. So that's all those ones. What do we have next? Let's do the Twisby Eco. So this is my Twisby Eco white, uh, and I've nearly written this one dry. This one is the Twisby Eco. This is a fine nib in the white, and this one is Diamine Amazing Amethyst. And this one is really lovely. And I'm nearly finished this one. I didn't ink it up completely, I inked it up to about there. So, but I have been writing a lot with it and it's a delightfully wet ink and I just, I love Twisbees. I got given this, uh, this Twisbee from Penhaven uh, to try out, which was so exciting because I had never tried it with Twisbee. And then I went ahead and got another one, which is the Eco. This is the 580. And I actually think I like the Eco better um, just because of this grip section. I, I, I do like 580, but I find the grip section not as comfortable as the Eco. It's it's not that it's cold because it is a little cold. I just, I don't know. I, I think I like plastic or acrylic better than uh, the metal. But this is also a gorgeous uh, pen. So this is the Twisby, am I still in frame? I am. Twisby Diamond 580. And this is a medium nib and navy. And this is Diamine Gray Skies No More. And this, I think this is a Colt Pens exclusive. And this is another wet ink. And this writes quite lightly. Uh, it is a delightful ink. It has a lot of different shading. I'll show you a close up later but it much lighter than like Earl Grey or anything like that, but it, it sort of has that chroma shading in there. Uh, it's a really beautiful ink uh, that I have loved using. Oh, I put, I put my eco back. And then I think these are all not inked right now because I have the little stickers on them, but I think this one is. So this is my Jinhao X59 and this is in the orange and it's like this beautiful antique orange color it's a nice weighty pen and it has a giant number eight nib on it, which is duotone, which is just really, really lovely. I think I have the focus on the paper, so <laughs> that was probably all blurry, but I can show you a close up. I'll put a close up in it. Let's move this paper up a little. Okay, so this one is the Jinhao, and this writes 
really wet. <laughs> Jinha X159. And this is actually a fine, which is almost like the Twisby medium. And this one is orange. And this has diamine. Uh, burnt sienna, which is a great match if you're matchy matchy with this pen and it writes real, real wet. And I find diamine inks really wet anyway, so this is a lovely match with that. Is that all I have? I think that's all I have inked up at the moment. I mean, I have a, a bunch of other preppies, but um, nothing really interesting, mostly just some more sketch inks and stuff. So I think that's all I have inked for now. Does that seem right? Yeah. Okay, so just a small number, but lots of different colors. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to show you this pen case, actually. I got this for Christmas, and it is similar to the ones from Galen Leather, but it's actually a seller of uh, AliExpress. And I think you can get them on Etsy, too. They sell on Etsy as well. And it's really nice. It was about, I think, 35 bucks or so. And it had a couple of like little imperfections. There was a couple of marks on here and some loose threads and stuff. And um, if you look at the tray really carefully, it's not super cleanly put together. So it's, but it is really serviceable and it's a really soft fabric. So on the website, just one thing to be aware of that this fabric kind of looks like a suede. It is definitely not a suede and on camera this actually looks much sort of grayer but it, it, it does match this a little better than it does look like on camera <laughs> but um, yeah just you know not super high quality but definitely really nice and serviceable and it holds my big pens which is really nice um, but yeah definitely I think worth the money for 35 bucks it's really nice and this is leather you can smell it this magnetic closure is really nice and it's really sturdy and yeah so I've really been enjoying this so this is the other pen case that I keep my Cavecos in. So I just put like a little bit of foam in the bottom here so that these stand up. So there's like a little insert here. It comes with a piece of foam in it. I just cut it and popped it inside <laughs> so that I can have these sticking out. And then I just have some journaling pens and my little... Oh, actually this is inked too. So this is the Wonkai Mini. So I can add this on here. What is in it though? Oh golly. I'm going to have to write with it and see. I think... Look at that. I haven't written with this in forever. So this is the one Kai Mini. And this is a fine, oh, I don't know what it's called. Maybe, let's just say green. It's probably a more, <laughs> oh, greed. Oh no, green. I didn't mean to say greed. Anyway, one Kai Mini. And I think this is, uh, let me look it up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think this one is, yeah, the Holanga. I have no idea how to say that. I am so sorry. And so it's the Califolio. Uh, Holanga? That is probably so wrong. I apologize. But this little pen, lovely. As you can see, I've, I've had this inked up probably for six months, just sitting in there and I haven't used it in probably three months. So wonderful little pen. And that just goes in here with my other journaling pens. So let's look at these in a little closer. Let's move these out of the way. So we have the Emma, which is this one here. So looks a lot darker in the with the dip pen, obviously, but this is a gorgeous color and this is the waterproof ink. So you can sketch in it and then do watercolor over it. Then we have the Louis Donc, which is this gorgeous color, much, much lighter in a pen, obviously, but absolutely stunning color. And then we have the Ron Klinger. Actually, I don't have a swatch card for this. I need to make a swatch card for the for the Carmen. Uh, I do have one for the Green Umber. So this actually writes really nice and dark still in that M nib. And we have the Grey Skies No More. See, look at this color. 
Isn't that just yummy? So it's got all this shading in it and you can see it in the swatch here a little bit. It doesn't represent too much in the actual text, but it writes really lovely. I got that one and then we have oh I didn't do amazing amethyst I'm sorry so this is the Twisby Eco with the amazing amethyst and that writes nice and dark too and that's just with the fine and then we have the burnt sienna which writes really lovely has a lot of shading in it that's gorgeous especially in that large nib but it's still just a fine I, I don't think the size of the nib <laughs> makes it any uh, bolder but it is a really really nice pen I really love that pen Sienna, and then last of all our discovery with the Wonkai Mini with the Califolio Alanga Holanga I'm sorry somebody let me know how to pronounce that sorry for my ignorance there and this is a gorgeous color too yeah, so that's all of our currently inked pens and ink this month. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So thanks for joining me for this little currently inked. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.